He's a cop. Well, it's not the kind of thing that you tell everyone, especially not in a place like this. I don't blame you for hiding. If he saw you in this place, he'd do his not. I was going to make a room for it. Well, you do right. No, I mean, I was going to, but I'd rather stay. Stand up for you. I don't expect you to. I think it means he's going to dump you. That creep had his filthy hands all over you. Why should we let him get away with it? I know, but... Men like that think they can treat us like muck. We need to stick together. Make a stand. I'm really sorry. She will be here as soon as possible. OK. Madison, you took your time. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I had to get changed. Give me a shout if you need anything. Oh, Sam, sweetheart, get yourself off home. Yeah. Right. Well, don't worry, you still get paid. Plus tips. Don't push it. Don't be too hard on her, yeah? Is someone making you do this? No! Well, why would you be doing it unless someone was forcing you to? It makes no sense. Hang on a minute. This is against procedure. You two clearly know each other. The manager just called you Madison. I, I take that's not your real name. It's Bethany Platt. Your girlfriend? Craig, you should declare it. You know the rules. No, don't blame him. It's not his fault. You can knock off the day. We'll, we'll talk about this tomorrow. <sighs> right, Miss Platt, if we can take your statement. He's not going to get in trouble, is he? If we can make a start, please. Everyone's out except us, so... Look, I know you've been forced to work in that place. That place. <laughs> Listen to yourself. And? I'm not leaving until you tell me who it is that's making you do it. Nobody is forcing me to do it. I do have a mind of my own, you know. You're not alone, Bethany. I can help you make it stop. <laughs> Nathan's got to, hasn't he? I haven't been anywhere near Nathan or any of his mates. I know you're scared, but you've beaten this once and you can do it again. If you don't want to talk to me, talk to Jess. Apart from anything else, you're underage. It's against the law. After everything those men did to you, this would be the last thing you'd be doing if you had a choice. Parading around in your underwear, letting men treat you like a piece of meat. You're not listening! Why aren't you listening to me? You're wrong, OK? You hate what I'm doing, so obviously this is the only way you can make sense of it all. But I want you to hear what I'm saying. This is my choice. I want to do it. I'm not embarrassed or ashamed. In fact, I enjoy it. I shouldn't have to justify myself to you or anyone else. Well, if you're so cool with it, why not invite your whole family to the club? Let them see you in action. Make your mum proud. In fact, let's hire a bus and take the whole street. I haven't told my mum because I knew that she'd kick off, try and talk me out of it. But this is my decision, and I'm happy with it. If you don't get that, then that's your problem. OK. So explain. Make me understand. I shouldn't have to. Bethany, you have been abused by men. And now you're letting it happen all over again. No, you're wrong. Last time Nathan called the shots, I wasn't allowed to say no back then, but I am now. I'm in control. Oh, yeah, because Sam looks really in control of a bus lip. Can't you see? Those men get exactly what they want from you. No, they don't. They look at me, they want me, they drool all over me as much as they want, but I've got the power. I smile sweetly, I take the money, but inside I'm laughing at them. This isn't you. Maybe you liked me better when I was the innocent victim. How could you say that? I've never seen you as a victim. You've always been dead brave. I just want to put the past behind me. All that I'm asking is that you support me and accept my choices. You know I can't do that. Call your boss and quit your job now before anything bad happens. You're just trying to control me like Nathan did. Don't you ever compare me to him. I am nothing like him. Bethany, I'm worried about you. This has got to stop now. If you want us to stay together, the job's got to go. I love my job. If you can't accept that, you know what to do. <laughs>